so I'm on my way into Hobby Lobby to see what I can find for my Christmas. I got some cute stuff. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry, and today I want to show you all the wonderful things that I got in my Christmas haul. So as you know, I've made other videos of all the Christmas, Christmas decor out there. I've uh, gone to At Home, uh, Kirkland's, and Hobby Lobby. And if you haven't seen those videos yet, don't worry, I'll, I will include the link in the description and you can go back and check those out. But today, I just wanted to kind of show you all the things that I bought along the way for, for my home. Um, as you could imagine, there was so much uh, adorable stuff out there. And so um, I couldn't get all of it, but <laughs> I got a few things. And I actually have not even gone through all of my Christmas decorations that I have in storage yet. And it's just, it's kind of hard to get them out. So it's such an ordeal. So I will do that in the, in the coming week. So what I have today, um, I'll add that to what I've already got. And then once I see everything out, spread out, and I can see what's what, then I'll know if I need to go back and get some more to add to it. But I wanted to kind of, you know, keep it, you know, keep it low, not just go crazy with the decor shopping. So I don't want to you know, buy things that I already have. But I think I did okay with this. And it's so funny, as I look around at the items that I bought, um, it looks like the bulk of them came from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I think I have a few things that I got from Kirkland's as well, but um, they must be in another in another room somewhere. Um, what I have with me today, the bulk of it is from Hobby Lobby, but I love it and I think you'll like it. I hope you like it. But anyway, it matches my decor. So, um, so this year what I wanted to do is I want to stick with the colors green and red. I was thinking about it for a long time, like what's my theme gonna be? Uh, what's my color gonna be? And red is my favorite color, but I just love the color green for Christmas this year. I'm not sure um, where that's coming from. Just the green just always kind of stands out. And I did do a variety of bulbs in green, different green shades last year on my tree. Um, but I'm gonna just focus a little more on the green this year with spurts of red mixed in. Um, so throughout the, not just the tree, but throughout the house, I wanna add green pillows and green um, maybe throws and, and things like that to really just bring it all together. But um, anyway, let me go ahead and show you what I've got so you can kind of maybe get a picture of what I'm talking about. Oh, also in my, <laughs> the style that I like for my home is farmhouse. I just love the nice farmhouse style. It's kind of homey and cozy and it just, it suits my personality, you know, so well. I'm kind of traditional when it comes to Christmas and, and I don't know, so farmhouse is just my thing. I just like that. So whenever I see something that has that farmhouse feel, I'm ready to grab it. So let me show you what I've got. Um, the first thing, when I saw this, it just caught my eye. This is so cute to me. This is a bell, as you can, you can hear it. And um, it's uh, from Hobby Lobby, of course, $9.99. So you know all Hobby Lobby's Christmas decor is 50% off. So whatever price I tell you, just cut that in half and that's how much it was. And I just love the um, little pine cones and the red berries it has on top, a little twine here and little sprigs of green um, pine needles. It just, it's so cute. Now, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use this yet. I just know that I had to get it because <laughs> it just kind of fits the, the theme that I want in the house, very traditional, um, and it's pretty. I probably won't hang it on anything. I think it'll probably go into a centerpiece or on one of the tables or something like that, but that is just so cute. I love that. And I love this red color, almost like a little cranberry color. Very nice. Okay. And in addition to that, I got this tree. Now, I already have two of these, I do believe, from last year. I think it's two. Might be one. If it's one, then I'm going to go back and get a third one. 
Um, and they have them in larger sizes too. And I might just get a larger one because I think the one that I already have, the two that I already have, I believe are the same height as this. Um, so if I have two, then this will be the third one. That's fine. And I'll still go out and get a, one larger one. But um, if not, then I'll just get one more larger one and uh, that'll be fine. So this one is regular price $15.99. And again, you see the red berries there. There's twine kind of wrapped around here. There's pine cones and um, the little green leaves. It looks, again, very kind of farmhousey. I love this. And you can see the similarities in style between the tree and the bell. Yeah. And the coloring too. So that's kind of that traditional look that I want for my home um, this Christmas season. So I'm really excited about it, can't wait. So that's the tree. And next, okay, so for my theme, it's really like snowmen. <laughs> um, I do have some snowmen that I've collected over the years and maybe about, maybe about three or four of them. And I was just collecting them because they were cute. But I thought, you know what, I like that focus because I just, I know a lot of people like gingerbread, which is fine too. Um, some go with um, the reindeer, which is also nice. But I just wanted to go with um, snowmen this year. I think it's really cute. And this one, again, kind of that farmhouse feel to me because he's made out of a material that looks kind of like a tweed. Makes me think of like a tweed suit or something. Um, and then you've got this really nice green and red scarf around his neck and it's, you know, the little beige fringe. It really just looks very warm and cozy. And then even his hat, you know, um, it's got that little brown fur around here. And of course his um, hat's the same color as his scarf. And I just think it's totally adorable. Now the scare, I mean the, uh, not scarecrow, the, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at uh, this one behind me. This snowman is $14.99 regular price. So again, cut that in half and that's what he costs. All right, so as you can see, similar colors, it's kind of coming together. <laughs> All right, let's put him back. And um, the next thing I got was, I actually got two of these. And again, all these are from Hobby Lobby. This is just a cute little Christmas tree shaped bowl. And I'm gonna have a nice arrangement of candies in here or even nuts. You know, when I was younger, that was a big thing. You'd always have a nice little candy dish on the coffee table full of nuts. And you'd have a little nutcracker right next to you, right next to it. And um, so again, tradition, I love tradition. And so this came from um, Hobby Lobby the Robert Stanley collection. And this one regular price is $5.99. So round up to $6, cut it in half, $3. And I got two of these, so I thought that was very, very cute. And this is the shade of green that I wanna kinda of add throughout the house. So again, this would just look so pretty. So if you could imagine a table with um, the snowman on there and and there's the green, very similar to the green in the scarf a little bit. So, you know, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I just really like that. I think it's cute. All right. Okay, so next, I got these bulbs. And I remember when I first saw these bulbs, well, they're actually, they're bells. When I first saw these in the store, I was like, oh gosh, I gotta get these. I think I mentioned that on my video. But these are actually little bells and they're Christmas ornaments. So they, they go on the tree. Well, at least that's where I'm putting them. I guess you can put them anywhere you want. But you can hear it, they're little bells. And they each say something on them. This one says joy, you can see that. And then there's another one that says Noel. And then there's another one that says um, peace. And I'm gonna hang these on the tree. So if you think about my tree with a um, different variety of green Christmas bulbs on there and the bursts of red, 
These will be part of the bursts of red that'll be on there. So I'll have some red bulbs mixed in with that. And I'll have a few other red ornaments on there as well. So that's what that's gonna look like. I just thought that was so, so cute. Yeah, I love the fact that they have um, real bells in there. Love that. Okay. And I thought they'd be sold out, but you know, thankfully they had a lot of these in stock, so I was able to get them, no problem. Okay, so the other thing I want to do, this is gonna be kind of new for me this year, um, but I know I can do it. <laughs> so I was looking for different types of ribbons, or not ribbons, bows and different things to go in the tree to kind of give it that burst of red that I was talking about. But I really couldn't find anything that did what I wanted it to do. And if you would ask me, well, what do you want? I would have said, I don't know. <laughs> so it's hard to find stuff when you don't even know what you're looking for. But then what I noticed is they had rows and rows of ribbon. I'm like, what's with all the ribbon? I don't recall all this ribbon before. Um, I guess it's a big trend this year, maybe, um, for pe that people are making their own uh bow ribbons and, and doing different things with, with, uh, with ribbons. So I thought, you know what? I know that I can make a pretty bow and I can make several of them and I can add those to my tree. So I decided to get this ribbon and I don't, I hope you can see this, um, but when the light hits it, you can, it really shimmers. It's like a sheer ribbon and it has the wire on the on the uh, outside, so it, it bends pretty easily. But throughout, it's like a glitter. Let's see if I can get real close so you can see that. It's like a glitter just all throughout the ribbon. So if you can imagine that being on the tree with white Christmas lights on, that's gonna reflect off of that so well. That's gonna look so pretty. So that's one of the ribbons I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna combine that with a pretty red velvet ribbon that I saw. And I thought this was really pretty. And you know, red velvet bows for Christmas, that's pretty traditional. I mean, very um, common. People have used that a lot for years. So I didn't want to just have all velvet. I wanted to kind of mix it in with the, um, with the sheer ribbon, you know, with the little glitter accent. So I thought that would be pretty too. So I'm gonna have several bows all around the tree mix in with the red um, bells that I just showed you and the, uh, the various colors, the various shades of green on the, uh, the bulbs. Now when I make the bow, uh, the bow with the ribbon, I don't know what I've been calling it, <laughs> but I'm gonna use the ribbon to make bows. That's what I mean to say. And I'm going to um, secure them with this. And I'll be getting kind of close so you can see that. It's like um, it shimmers just a little bit. It's like a red glittery twine almost. So I'll kind of use that to secure the, the bows and then put those on the tree. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was calling it, but that didn't sound right. But anyway, all right, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and then, um, and that was so funny, I stumbled across this one um, the red twine that I just showed you, and they only had one package left. So um, I had to get this, I looked all over for it, and it was in the wrong place, so I don't know, but it's exactly what I wanted. So um, in addition to that, I got this one. Oops, let's see here. If I can get this open for you. And this is a little bit wider, so well, a lot wider actually, but um, and it's more of a satiny finish. But I will use that to secure the ribbons, um, the bows, excuse me, as well. Yep. Okay. So I think that'll be very, very pretty. Again, red is my favorite color. Um, even though green is taking the center stage for this Christmas, red will definitely have a place. So those are what I have so far um, to add to my existing Christmas decor. So again, I'll get everything out. I'll take a look at it, see what I've got, 
and um, see how this mixes in with that. And if I need to make another trip to the stores, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna try very hard not to do that. I'm pretty sure that I have everything that I need though to get the look that I want. But there are a couple extra things that I bought that I want to share with you. Um, and I have these in one of my videos that you that I put out there earlier and I just had to get these because they're just too cute. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> so, um, I've seen on a lot of the other um, stores, and a lot of the other stores, lots of cute decorative pillows um, from snowman pillows to gingerbread pillows to um, snowflake pillows, just all different varieties. And so these are really kind of small to be a pillow, but they're just gonna be little decorative items. They have kind of a, uh, a firm bottom so they can sit up on their own like there's some sand in there or something to kind of keep them in place so they can sit up on their own and they're just really really cute so I'll probably have them sitting around somewhere around the house and um, just to make it look nice and festive but I have two other pillows I'm going to show you that they're actually pillows all right so I'll let you guys sit over here for a minute all right so we've got Gingy. <laughs> now, of course, gingerbread is like a big, big deal this year. And actually Kirkland's had one that I really, really liked, but I had already bought this one at the time. So I decided I'll just go ahead and stick with what I've got. But Kirkland's has a cute one too. Now this one, oh, this one was $14.99, again, half off. And I forgot to tell you, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, um, $18.99. And yeah, $18.99 each for Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Cut it in half, that's the price. Um, Gingy here, $14.99, cut that in half, that's the cost. And I had to get Mrs. Gingy right along with him. So um, both of these, um, when you put them together, I got both of them for $14.99. So these are very soft, very squishy. They'll probably have a seat in um, one of the chairs or on the sofa or something like that. And again, with my regular pillows, just for um, decor, but you know, you kind of lean on it a little bit. It's very soft, very cushy. So that is pretty much um, all I have for today's haul. Again, I just may end up making another trip out there to either Kirkland's or um, or at home. I went by Target. Um, Target didn't have a whole lot um, that I wanted to get. They had some nice things, but nothing that really fit in with um, the look I was going for. So um, again, most of this is from Hobby Lobby. All of this is from Hobby Lobby, rather. And um, But there are some nice things on the other videos that you'll see um, from Kirkland's and at home that might be exactly what you're looking for. So I uh, definitely suggest if you haven't had a chance to see those, go ahead and take a look at them. And I'll be sure to include the link in the description. So that's it for today's video. Um, I hope that uh, you saw some nice things here that you might wanna pick up for yourself or at least take a trip down to the store. I'm really excited for Christmas to come. Um, you know, Halloween will be here, ooh, I guess next week. Uh, well, actually about 10 days from now. And um, that next day after Halloween, November 1st, you know, we kick Christmas into full gear. And of course, we take the time out to celebrate Thanksgiving because we're very thankful to the Lord for all he's done. Um, and then we're right back at Christmas, <laughs> right back on 10 for Christmas. So um, look forward to my Christmas decor video starting really next week. <laughs> I can't believe how quick it is. Um, because I want to get everything done with that, with the Christmas decorating, really before Thanksgiving. That's my goal, so we'll see. But look forward to the video next week for Christmas decorating. And I'm going to break it up again in phases, just like I did for the fall. Um, and so I think I'm going to start with the entryway. I'm not 100% sure. We'll just have to wait and see how that works out. But I hope you'll come back and take, uh, take a look at that as well. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's free 
and it really helps my channel grow. So I appreciate all that have come back to um, check out my videos, all that have subscribed, and I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Take care and God bless.